Rose Life. Today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be doing something which I've been putting off for ages, okay? So can you remember about a year ago I got my Helix pierced? Today I'm going to be surprising my mum by getting a piercing and she doesn't know that I'm getting a piercing today. Hey mom! Hey! Can you notice anything different about me? <laughs> so yes guys, I actually did it behind my mom's back. I absolutely love it. The only thing is, I'm not that big of a fan of the piercing which it got pierced with. When you first get a piercing, they often give you like a very industrial looking one and I feel like my Helix definitely does look like that. So I definitely want to get something new and fresher, a bit more girly. Like if you look at my Traeger's piercing, it's very simple, it's gold, and it's got like a little bit of sparkly and gold and just like feminine. Whereas this is like silver industrial and I'm not that big of a fan of it. I'm also gonna be switching up some of my other piercings today as well, not just that one. So um, let's get started. <laughs> so I need to buy some piercings since Piercings. Mia calls, I literally always say piercings, but what I mean is studs. I need to buy some studs, and I'm also thinking maybe I'm gonna get some hoops as well. Sienna, you're gonna be like my personal assistant. She's gonna help me decide my piercings, because I guess it's gonna be, sorry, Sienna. Yes. This is gonna be like me changing up my look. I'm also thinking that I really wanna get some more piercings. So guys, could you go comment on my Instagram, I'm at Mia's Life Official, and help me decide what other piercings I should get. I was thinking maybe I'd really like to get my seconds, and like maybe even my thirds done. And then maybe like some more cartilage piercings, but I'm not sure. I kind of like just having one Traeger. Do you think like I should get some more, like maybe on this ear, like a helix or something? Uh, yeah. Because people can get one like here where it's like, it looks really pretty where it's like a helix and then it goes over this part of your so, ear and that part. So, but it just sounds really painful or your ear getting poked. Well, I've already got it poked a few times, so I'm sure I can get it poked a few more times. <laughs> I'm having a slight problem here. So I went to one piercing tattoo shop and for some reason I cannot find it. It was saying that it was on the beach and it definitely was not on the beach. There was nothing there. So that was confusing. Then I went to another one and they only have like five no studs left. And I want to get like some hoops and stuff like that. Then I went to a jewelry place and they didn't sell any body piercings. So yeah, I'm having a kind of a bit of a struggle here. So help me out guys. And I've got good news miracles. So I ended up asking some people for directions as to where exactly this elusive place was. Cause I looked on maps and there was a place. So I eventually found it and it looked completely different to the picture and the pin was completely wrong. And I got a few pieces. So I can't wait to show Sienna in the car what she thinks of them. Cause I kind of got some, like you see the star, it's a little bit different, but I thought it'd be fun to try some things out. What are you having Sienna? Coconut. Ooh, you, Sienna got a fresh coconut. I just had one as well. It's really, really good. Anyway, Sienna, you haven't seen my piercings yet, which I got, and I'm excited to see your opinion on them. <laughs> Have a look. Whoa. So I got two one? plain gold hoops. And then, I got a stud. And, and then star. I also got a star hoop. So the hoops I can use in my nose and obviously my Helix, which is the one that I'm planning to change most of all, which I'm quite nervous for, because obviously I haven't taken it out before yet. This is maybe my first time ever doing it, so a little nervous. I'm wondering if maybe I should like change my Tragus as well, but I kind of like my Tragus piercing. What do you think of my Tragus piercing, Sienna, or should I change it? Yeah, I'm, I do really like it. Yeah, and I feel like this one, because it's like a screw back, it's quite difficult to get off. So maybe I'm just gonna leave that one. Maybe I have to go to a place to get it changed, because this is really, really tricky to do. Like, I can never screw it on enough and then take it off. I, like, this one's tricky, but these hoop ones, I feel like are easier. Well, at least it's one I'm hoping. <laughs> and I'm now back home, so let's begin trying to put in the piercings. So first things first, I think we should start with my nose. Now I'm gonna give you a bit of a backstory about why I'm having to do this. So about a year ago, well, ever since I got it done, my nose done four years ago, what always happens is it falls out um, when I'm asleep, like in bed or yeah, normally that's when, and then I lose the studs and then I forget to buy a new one. Like it just like kind of slips my mind and then I forget to put one in for literally months. So the last time I had a no stud in was a year ago. <laughs> that's how long it slipped my mind for, okay guys? It hasn't been completely unpierced since then. 
Every like couple of months, I get like a normal earring just to make sure it doesn't close up because obviously I don't want that, but obviously I'm not gonna put in a nose thing. And these are sort of awkward. I've always had problems with these types of nose studs because they're just confusing. Like guys, let's try. Dude, that wasn't too tricky. Before, when I've tried to do this in the past, like it's taken me so long and I haven't been able to do it. I managed to do it. Okay, this looks weird, guys, because I'm so used to not seeing myself without my nose stuff. Like it's been so long. Looks cute, I like it. So this is just like a plain silver little gem. I thought it was quite cute. But I feel like I kind of want to try some other things with my nose because this is what I used to have like a year, like before that year of not having anything in my nose. I used to just have a little plain stuff like this. So let's try something else, yeah, Mirkorns? Okay, there we go. So, I thought it'd be fun to try out something a bit different. First things first, a hoop. I think I have had a hoop in my nose before. It was really big and it didn't really like look right or work. Whereas this one looks nice and small, guys. So I think this is gonna work. Also, it's silver. I really like having gold jewelry between silver and gold. I'm definitely more on the gold side. I feel like it suits me because I've got like a warm skin tone and warm hair color. Despite the fact I'm actually wearing silver today. This is like one of my only pieces of silver jewelry. So so that's another reason why I really want to change my helix. I'm definitely gonna have to make the hole wider because that does not fit around my nose. Okay, and now I can close the hole up. Ah, this feels weird. Like I can't, I'm trying to make the hole smaller. Okay, I think that'll do. Let's spin it around. Ooh, this looks cool. I'm not sure how I feel about it though. I feel like I prefer a stud. Like I feel like it looks a bit too much, like, I don't know. The stud looked kind of like shocking for me to see me just with a nose stud. So then a hoop's obviously even more like visible, I feel, so. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Guys, I want you to comment on my Instagram, like a rating out of 10 of all the piercings that I try. I'm not sure, guys, I don't know. I feel like it just, it's just, I'm so not used to seeing myself with jewelry here, then like now it's like all of a sudden I've gone straight in. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this one out. Okay. Now, if I thought that one was a little bit <laughs> too out there for me, I have this one, <laughs> which is a star. I don't know how this is gonna look. This is probably gonna be really tricky to get in. I just realized, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. Hopefully I can get this in, because it looks kind of complicated. Also, it's not so like bendy. How am I gonna, ow, 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 it kind of hurts. Oh, this one's really tricky to do. I don't know if I can do this one. Ah, really scraped my nose. It's because my nose is a little bit sunburned as well. I guess maybe I don't spin it round. I don't really feel like this works. Like, I can't really do this one. Okay, now my nose feels kind of sore. Well, not in like a bad way, but like, I mean, I've just been putting loads of things in. So I think I'm gonna put the stud back in because I feel like maybe once I get used to the stud, then I can try the hoop, but I don't know if I'm really vibing with the star. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna get this back in. Why did I take this out? I got it, I got it. Phew. Okay, this is cute. Now let's do my helix. This is the first time and I'm a little bit nervous. It's been a long, long time. Like this has been over a year. So it doesn't like feel sore or anything like that. Like it's been, like it healed really quickly actually. Okay, this is the bit where I can take it out. So I think with this sort of one, you just pull it. Oh no. Tricky. Oh, ooh, that just popped right out. Okay, go around. This is my first time seeing the hole. Every time is so weird, like seeing the hole. Like I feel like with cartilage piercings, the hole is really visible. Like with this one, it's not that visible with my nose. I think maybe it's just because my nose is like quite old. But where I remember when I took out my tragus, the hole was really visible. And with this one, the hole, there's like a proper, proper hole there. Okay. So I got another gold hoop because I really want to have a gold hoop in here. I was tempted to try the star in here as well, but um, I don't know, I feel like just gold hoops are cool. So let's put this one in. Let's just thread straight through. This one's like one of those clippy piercings where you can like clip it into place. At that place, I don't think they had any, but they said I could probably just use no stud like. It. So maybe in the future, if I can find a place where they have these clippy ones in gold, then maybe I'll get that instead because I know it's a little bit more secure. But I think for now, this will do. Ooh, I did it, Miracorns. I actually did it. Hey, mom. What do you think of my new look? What? Your nose? Yeah, and oh, my helix. That looks I changed so nice. it wow, to did you do a gold yourself? one. Yeah, I just did it. it. Looks so nice. It was actually quite easy. What do you think of my nose and oh. the helix? 
beautiful. Thank you. Oh, and your nose. I tried the star and I couldn't do it though. No? The star didn't no, work? No, it didn't work. Oh. Darren, what do you think of my nose? Whoa. Oh. The nose and my helix. I changed them. Well, I didn't have my nose in for ages. Would you have them pierced or they were already pierced? No, no, no. They were already pierced. I just put piercings oh. in them. Oh. Yeah, nice. And video cons, what do you think of my new look? I put in some little gold hoops to match the helix. I really like how it looks, especially now because I know the nose is silver, but otherwise all of my ear piercings, like most of the time I wear gold, so they all match now, like my tragus and my helix kind of match, which I really like. So video cons, if you're new around here, make sure to click subscribe and also check out my latest video. Bye, love you guys. Mwah.